All right, y'all, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. Today we are going to be uh, assembling and installing this fitness gear workout, a uh, little workout home gym. So let's go ahead and get this thing uh, assembled for the client. So yeah, just to show you real quick, this is what we have kind of spread out. Got most of the pieces. I haven't unboxed two of five yet, but it does come with these hardware packs here it's three packs of hardware all right so i just wanted to show you on these packets you see here they're all numbered 51 is this bolt 54 same with the washers and nuts and everything tells you how many there should be installation manual or assembly manual just verify the numbers match up and these things will come together easily but this is by fitness gear Fitness Gear Home Gym, HG1205. This is what we are going to assemble. Okay, it looks like step number one right here is getting the bottom piece with the two upright bars in place that are gonna hold the stacked weight plates or plate weights. And so again, just follow these uh, assembly steps here. So here we are, step one is done. Let's go into step two. Okay, so here we have step two, as you can see, we're going to get this, this is gonna be the final outcome. We're assembling the back here and the front, and then hopefully this thing will be able to stand on its own. Okay, so we completed step two here. Definitely have a rubber ended mallet. That helps a lot, because we had to put these two black end caps on here to keep this in place. And there was a small pole that ran through the whole thing. This guy right here, there was only one of these in, in the entire, um, you know, packing. So there's two other poles there. Those are bigger, more round in diameter. So it's not those. It's the only one that can fit in here. Just slide it in, put the two caps on, and that's what keeps it in place. And then for getting the uh, weight plate rods in place and the bottom piece here, it's just two carriage bolts, so you only need to tighten on this side. It's a size 9 16 for these, um, these nuts that come into the package, which looks like it's all of them are this size. So you only need 9 16 key there, and you'll be able to get this thing assembled as far as the main components. So now it is nice and stable. I left these poles a little loose. I didn't tighten it all the way, uh, and I'm probably going to do that now before I start adding more pieces on. So it doesn't get too heavy, but definitely tighten tighten them underneath. So that way, once you're starting to add the plates on in place, that's securely tightened down. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, step three is gonna be mounting or installing the upright bar here or main post. This is another main component of the unit. And we're gonna put that on by getting two carriage bolt number 59 with a Make sure you put this uh, stabilizing plate underneath and then it's just gonna tighten upward. So again, it's gonna be the same bolts, same washers, but make sure you get that plate underneath. And support bar attached to the bottom support post there. And um, I like to use my impact gun to get these bolts in place because they are uh, lock nuts here so you just get them down nice and secure and again on the back side they are carriage bolts but one thing about this see how the angle comes in like this it really closes off this area so you can't just use your impact gun I highly recommend like this extended flex bit that allows you to get into that corner without get you know because you can't get your key in there without that right so you see how you got to get like a flex position there otherwise it won't work this is really really worth it as a tool if you decide to assemble things on your own all right so step three is good to go do not tighten it down just yet that main post on step number four we're gonna install this post and also do not tighten it down yet because we've got to get a center post in here we're doing step four we're gonna get this post in place with the, remember that bottom uh, supporting plate there Let's go ahead and do it.
Okay, so just remember, the only one you want to tighten down at the beginning is the ones that hold these two poles because underneath it's Allen wrench, so you won't be able to get to that after we put it upright in its final position. But these posts that come up that have the carriage bolts, just hand tighten them for now, leave them loose. Okay, leave them loose because we're gonna be putting a few other things here horizontally, right? And once we get these in place, then you can just tighten them down even when it's sitting upright in its position because remember they're carriage bolts, so you don't need to have anything here to keep it from spinning. So just keep that in mind. So the next uh, piece that's going, we're gonna find this guy right here and it's gonna go through these two holes here on the main post and then the two holes on this post we just installed. So it's gonna go right through these holes and these holes. It's gonna be this bar here. So let's go ahead and do that. This bar is for step number five. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, so here we are, step four and step five are now complete. Let me just cover a few things, step four and step five. The plate underneath, this plate right here, make sure that's underneath this post. Also make sure that that post is facing that way, away from this other one. So you want it to like basically go into a V form with these two posts here, as you can see. That's how they want you guys to install it. So make sure it's facing the proper direction. Then we have, if you look here, on the back side of this uh, post or pole, you have carriage bolts here. And then on the front side, you have Allen wrench bolts. So just make sure that you put Allen wrench ones here. And this is designed to get the carriage bolts on this square post there. Once you get those in place, tighten these down. At the bottom, make sure they're nice and tight. So the next step is to get these weight plates in order so she can select whatever it is she wants to select as far as weight is concerned. See these two, these holes right here, there's holes on the two posts that hold the plates. And uh, so just make sure that those holes are facing outward on both of them. Um, it looks like this one may be, fa yeah, we're just gonna face them outward. And if I find, if I come across any issues concerning those holes, I'll let you know. But for now, we're just gonna put these plates on. We're gonna stack them up nice and clean and we'll go from there. And one other thing about these plates, make sure the pinholes are facing forward. Sometimes people overlook that. But yeah, make sure they are facing forward so you can put that pin in there. Okay, so at the end of step six, this is what you should have. You should have all the plates stacked up nice and neat there. Sorry about the dog. And then again, remember you want the holes facing toward the front of the entire machine, right? Not facing the other way. And then make sure you get the pin in here with the keychain ring around the post that that lifts up the plates, okay? So that's what I didn't show you all was that this, I guess this post is now, oh yeah. Anyway, that's the post right there that I dropped in. That guy right there, number 19. Just drop it in first and then Put that small top plate on top of the post so it covers the T bars that go across the post. Anyway, so make sure the small plate goes on top of the post and you'll cover these little T bars there that keeps this top plate from, um, or keeps, the, keeps this post from being removed. And then this guy, the pin, the plate pin, has some teeth here as well. Just put it in at an angle. Once it gets all the way in, you just turn it down and you're good. All right, so the next step, step seven here, is to get this top bar in place, which is gonna be this gap right here. It's gonna go across. I'm sure we're gonna put something on top of these posts here, and that's what we're, we're gonna do next. So basically at the top of these two poles, you have self already pre-threaded uh, pre holes there, so the bolts will just Tighten right into those. All right, so that's what that top bar should look like here. 
basically, let me come to this side where the light is better. You have two Allen wrench bolts here, which basically brings these poles into proper uh, stability here, I guess, is so it keeps them from moving back and forth. So these are nice and solid. I only did hand tightening for now. Same here. It's two carriage bolts going through the top. And then you just tighten these guys down. And then you have the main frame and structure of the unit pretty much good to go. As you can see, there's just a few more metal pieces remaining. And then we're going to move on to the cushions, the cables, and the pulley wheels, or the pulleys. So let's go ahead and move forward. But it's looking good. Any one of y'all can do this. I just hope this is an encouraging video for you if you want to assemble this home gym yourself. Please let me know in the comments if this video is very helpful or not, and uh, or what I can do differently to help it be a better video as far as assembly instructions and helping you do it on your own. Definitely can do, it's definitely a one person job, but if you have two, it's even better. Okay, as you guys saw in the video, on this one, even my extended flex bit wouldn't work because you got this plate here, so very small gap. So I use a ratcheting wrench with the 916's key, and that works fine. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you need a few unique tools or different tools to get it nice and tight. All right, so step seven is complete. Make sure you have everything tightened down. It's saying to tighten everything down there, all the nuts and bolts. So this is what we... This is the stage we're at right now, step seven. We got everything in place, looking good. Let's go on to step eight here. Another metal support piece here, which is going right here at the front of that top beam or post, right? This guy right here is going to be installed right in there. And it looks like this piece right here has two threaded ends, so I'm assuming that it's this piece here. So let's just go ahead and get all the pieces together and then I'll show you guys in hyperlapse mode how it goes together and I'll cover anything that might be out of place. All right, so something very important here on this uh, swinging piece here on this set is these guys can both rotate, right? So I don't know if you guys saw, I was using uh, some pliers here, but basically, what you want to do is you want to have these bolts screwed on about the same depth here because that rod that went through the middle, anyway, it's evenly spaced. So you, you, want to, you want to screw the bolts on about the same distance in on both sides. So it's, there's even gaps here and it stays on the main rod there. So just to give you an idea, you want that swinging piece to be on the rod and not on the threaded parts of the if this post here right so the way to do that is just spin them evenly and i just used my pliers here and actually held onto the threaded part to screw this guy to match approximately it doesn't have to be exact the depth of the threads or the protruding threads from outside the front of the bolt there so and you want it to be loose enough to where it can swing pretty freely but it doesn't wobble left and right. Let's go on to the next step. Step number nine here is we're gonna get these uh, arm pieces on that allows you to do butterflies and bench pressing and things like that. So let's go ahead and let's get this on. Uh, again, if there's anything out of place that stands out, I will share that with you, but it looks like it's gonna be the next two rods with bolts and nuts. Same thing, you wanna screw them down evenly, both left and right. So let's go ahead and do that. And now it's gonna be the remaining two of these pieces here with some lock nuts. And then it's gonna be different washers. I think it's the number 64 washers because there's only four left. And because it says 64 on the instructions, I'm quite certain. Yep, 64, 68 lock nuts and two of these pieces here. So let's go ahead and get everything together and we'll install these guys. All right, so once again, on these two swinging arms here, you definitely want to have free play so there's no resistance.
to add to the weight and the movement. You just want it to be nice and free, just moving on its own. And remember, you want the top, right? The top and bottom threading to be about even. That way the rod in there is sitting, you know, exactly in the middle and you're not, you know, scratching these uh, pieces against the threading of the bolt. And you get the free movement there so the cables and weights can slide up and down freely. Sorry, the lighting there is working against me a little bit, but man, this thing's looking good. And it looks like you can lock it to do your, anyway, we'll, we'll put those uh, pins in there and show you how that works where you can use this as a bench press. That's pretty sweet. This is done. Step nine is complete. Let's go on to step 10. See what we have. Let's see what they want us to do for step 10. Oh, well, wow, that's pretty simple. We're just gonna put the uh, arm paddings on. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically just two uh, 50 bolts with 61 washers. So four pieces of each. We'll get those two paddings on. We're gonna do step 10, 11, and 12 consecutively. It's just a, a bunch of padding pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. And just remember, follow the bolt pieces. They're all labeled. So this is number 50 here. Let's see which ones they want. Yeah, 50. So we're going to do all these pretty much to get these first or most of the padding on. Let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to do a time lapse of it or a hyperlapse. Going to go on the bars for your legs there. But uh, yeah, just two screws in the back or two bolts. It's a smaller Allen wrench piece. So you got to have three sizes here that they include in the kit or four sizes sorry so make sure you're aware that you need a few different allen wrench pieces or you can use the ones they provide but yeah just get them all tightened down and you get this piece here make sure that's what holds the curl uh, pad in place and pull so there you go we're good to go let's go on where are we going now uh after Step 12, so let's get this uh, bar in place because this is going to be for the leg curls and whatnot. Uh, of course, we're going to have a pulley in there later too, but right now we're just going to get it where it needs to go, right underneath the curl pad there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so similar situation here with the leg curl bar. Make sure you have it facing forward with this notch here. And then again, you have two spinning bolts going into the post. Make sure you screw them in evenly. If you saw me using my pliers on one side and then drill driver on the other side, we got it evenly. And sometimes these plastic caps aren't installed properly from the manufacturer. Uh, you can use a rubber mallet to try to knock it in place. If it doesn't work, it is just what it is. All right, so step 13 is complete. We get the two rods here going through the two uh, holes of the leg curling uh, bar there, this main post. So two bars going across, the paddings, and then it's going to be these plastic end caps that are going to keep the pads in place from sliding off the bars. So let's go ahead and do that, number 14, and, or step 14. Okay, we got the pads in place. Everything's swinging nice and smooth, securely. And like I was saying, these caps keep the pads on. Uh, and you don't want to push the pads too much to the center post. Uh, just make the caps basically hold the uh, pads in place so they can spin and be used however they need to be used. Section here, it's going to require two bolts. But these are the two pieces that we're going with right now. They're going to be installed right there on this these two brackets so let's get them installed hyperlapse mode okay well step 15 one of the easiest steps is complete let's go on to 16. it looks like right now we're going to put the covers on those gray metal covers are going to be going on right in front of these uh, stacks here so it looks like it's going to be these brackets. So that's pretty easy. And then you have these brackets here. So this bracket here and then extra ones at the bottom. 
But uh, we will definitely do a hyperlapse of it. Let's go ahead and get number 16, step number 16 done. All right, sorry about that. I actually installed the right side cover without hitting record, but it's the same way. It's just six screws or six bolts. You got the top bolt, the side bottom bolt, and the bottom front bolt. So six bolts all together with washers and you have your covers on. It's pretty sweet too because it has, it shows you some of the exercises you can do and uh, very, very nice. So, and then it has the plates numbered on that um, cover. So you don't have to put any stickers yourself. But yeah, it's a good looking, the model is the FGHG 1205 by Fitness Gear. So that is, uh, we are now going on to step 17, which is the main cable that goes to tie to the weight plate rod, right? So we're gonna do that. Run it through exactly as it says right now. So what's really neat about this one is that as far as what cable should you grab, it's the one that's 116 inches long because they have, I think, three different cables here. So just get the one that's 116 inches long and that'll be the first one to run through. All right, a shortcut for the first cable to know which one you grab is this one with one, these two on either end. The other two cables don't have these ends, so this is the first one to grab if you don't have a tape measure. All right, so we ran the first pulley through this pathway. Something very specific is uh, whether it's gonna be behind the pulley or in front of it, you gotta pay attention to that. So just pay attention to the way it's running it. So that right here, when you put that wheel, that pulley wheel in there, you're gonna have a, a screw holding it in place. You want the cable in front of it and then over. And then on this one, you want it behind the wheel. And I'll just kind of point that out. But for right now, it's ran through. And basically that ball is a stopper there. But yeah, you go over, down, through, come out, go back down, up, and then it goes over, down, and then you screw it in. And that you can use to adjust the length and tightness and whatnot. So just, we'll leave that be for now. Let's go into the next step. And the next step, step 18, is now going to be installing the pulleys for the cable that we just ran through. So that's pretty sweet. We're gonna have it completed, right? To where I'm not putting in all the pulleys, it's just one pulley system at a time. But let's see if it says A and A1. Oh, okay, so it's actually 18 and 19 is one step here. So it just gives you like a blown up view of what's taking place. Oh, okay, 18, 19, and 20, I think, before we even go on to the second cable. So it's actually not so bad as far as getting everything in place. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. It's just showing us how all the wheels, all the uh, pulleys will be in place when we're done. Remember, put these plastic guards there that keeps the, uh, the cable from coming off the wheel, or if it does, it, it, it basically it can't, it keeps it onto the wheel. Um, but that's the route we're gonna go. And then it shows us a blown up version of the installation of all that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do, uh, again, a hyperlapse. I just wanted to point the uh, point this out on this particular pulley that was going to be installed right there. That guy right there. It's asking for basically we got the bolt right, 84. We got 62 on both sides, and then it's asking for 71. It took me a moment to find them. 71 is going to be plastic washers. And those guys are in this bag where it's got all the cable um, guide arms here. So yeah, make sure that, that, it took me a while to find them. So 
I just wanted to help you do that. So 71 are these plastic black washers. All right, let's go forward, get this guy installed. So I just want to show you the outcome here. This is what you're what you're trying to shoot for here. Up and over, and then around, behind, going through this rod. These guide pieces though, they basically open up and you can pull, you just push the cable in. I'm not gonna take them out, but, so you just pop them in place. Follow the, the pulley around the back, and then above this pulley, down with the uh, plastic guide there. And then coming behind you, just basically assemble this guy here. And don't forget these plastic washers. They're basically those number 71 to put those in there. They basically go behind the metal washer and it's inside this plastic guide piece here. And the cable goes under and then back up and over down the front and to the, uh, the uh, plate selector or weight selector there. Okay, so that's what we have here. Just follow the instructions there, just watch it closely. And it's actually pretty easy if you just take it step by step. Uh, it takes a little time, but if you do it as they say and just pay attention to where they're supposed to go, you just get one flywheel at a time and it'll come together, okay? And then these plastic pieces here, so these guys here, right, I wanna mention those. These guys go right here. They're pl basically plastic washers and it keeps the uh, pulley centered here in the middle of the rod, right? Cause they go in uh, through, they go in through the metal um, beam there. And basically they keep the, the pulley centered. Do not forget to put those in place. All right, so the next step, we just did a B. Got that guy in place, right? All screwed down. Next is going to be C and D. It should be the next cable here, and it's the, the one with the two O-rings at each end, but the one here with the two O-rings. So this is the next cable we're gonna run through, all right? This is basically gonna be used for these arms to be able to do butterflies and bench press and all that. All right, y'all, I forgot to do the hyperlapse uh, assembly and install this uh, pulley here. But basically, you just run a bolt through, get these two plas plastic guides, right? And make sure that the flat side is facing towards the back of the plate stack there. But uh, yeah, just put that together. And again, just hand tighten it for now. We'll just leave it like that. And that's good to go with that one. Let's go on to the next. And it shows you how to it shows you how to put all the components together and whatnot. So just follow through and uh, go steady and confidently. And now we're gonna run the cable through uh, where it needs to go here and get it all the way up to the leg curling section there. So let's just go ahead and run it through, and we'll do a hyperlapse. All right, so we had to remove the ball and, and all these components from the cable on this end just to get to be able to get it all the way through here. But let's go ahead and put this back on. So push the ball through here, let that go. Then you push it through here. One side has a bigger hole than it's the channel. You turn it like that. Then you run the bolt through with a washer here. All right, with the washer, just like that. And put the other washer on and our lock nut. And this is going to be, I'm assuming for some other component there, probably one of those uh, workout deals there. But anyway, so this ball is made to be here to keep things from falling out of place. But that's it there, we got that in place. Let's go ahead and install the other pulley so we can get this leg 
leg curl up and running for. All right, we are doing the last cable and pulleys run through here. It is the most, uh, I would say complex, but since we got practice with the shorter ones, the easier ones, this, this should go pretty smoothly. But there should be eight pulleys left. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It matches the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what we have remaining. And again, just pay attention to every single part where they want the plastic guide pieces. So this just kind of gives you an overall overview of what you're looking for. And then you start actually assembling and installing section by section, pulley by pulley. So we're gonna start with F. F is a pulley here and a pulley here, right? That's where we're gonna install it. Just follow which bolts. They identify everything. They show you the plastic guys and everything like that. But this uh, pulley here and here are translated to one right here, all right? And one right here. So it's basically from here to here, get the cable where it needs to be. And as you can see from there to there, one goes above the pulley and then it comes down behind this pulley, which is the one that's attached here so we're going to have this cable go behind it and it's going to come back up and go over and so just kind of watch me in the time lapse and we'll go from there All right, y'all, we got everything pretty much done. We got all the cables ran through. I'm gonna show you guys that in a little more detail once I finish, but right now everything is hand tight in all these bolts. So I'm gonna go through and just uh, tighten everything down and then we're gonna test it out. So let's go ahead and do that time-lapse and we'll go from there. FG HG 1205 is complete. We have everything good to go. We tested it out. We worked out on it a little bit, made sure all the cables were running smooth. And again, at the end, just go through and make sure you tighten all the bolts, make sure everything's good, make sure everything's pretty tight. I raised the bolt and the wheel uh, one hole up to make the cables a little tighter. You don't want to overdo it either. So just make a nice firm tightness so it doesn't come out of the channel of the pulley. Everything's nice and tight and functioning properly. So you can't beat that. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in to Mastering Mayhem where I try to find you the best tools, tech, DIYs, and deals. Uh, and to try to just make life a little easier for you all and work more efficient. I appreciate all of your guys' support. Please remember to like, share, comment, click the notification bell, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will continue to bring you more content. I promise you, as long as the Lord doesn't take me away from this world, I will continue to work and try to do the best I can for you all. I appreciate you once again, and until next time, all the best to you and yours. Yeah.